Hello everyone. Hopefully you can hear me with the electric motors running in the background. <clears throat> Today I'm going to share with you ultra fast charging without compromising cycle life. I feel that this is was very important for me to be aware of, so I'm sharing my awareness of this technology with you. And this company was told that doing this was absolutely impossible, and scientists from all over the world called them curse words, called them names, and this is common when someone's doing something that hasn't been done before, or if it's been tried before and, had, and didn't succeed for, for different reasons. Um, it doesn't mean to give up on it. So this company, G Batteries, achieved ultra fast charging without compromising cycle life. Now things have changed over time. So today in this video, and I'm sharing this for educational purposes, and I did request and receive permission to share this with you. Let's go back a little bit to my early notes when I first created this playlist. And I wrote, I, I wrote these notes here from the website that is different from now. If I understand correctly, G Batteries and I haven't looked very recently, it's been a few months since I've looked. But the last time I looked here is it looked like G Batteries was getting involved in making batteries as well. But please confirm that for yourself. But originally, my notes will read as follows, which is... It says uh, this was last updated on October 24th of 2020. So to date, today, that'll be a couple years ago. And I don't know how long ago it was, if it was much before that, that this was written. I would have to look at all the dates. But please do confirm all this for yourself. You should be able to track the history of this company. So, uh, and by the way, um, when this company, G Batteries, proved their technology openly and independently over and over again, uh, many of the scientists throughout the world, almost all of them, called the company and sincerely apologized because they had made a mistake. And it's understandable because uh, there's a documentary I watched recently. I'm trying to remember the name of it. I think it was called Thrive. I think that was the name of it. There's, I think there's Thrive 1 and Thrive 2. And the one of the people in the film I think it's one of the uh, people involved in the making of the film had said that 95% of the new technologies the extremely efficient technologies um, are not functional as he understood as he understood it if I I'm saying it in my own words I, I don't know how to say it otherwise at this time um, so when 95% of the technologies maybe can't be understood with what we understand now uh, or might be considered not functional or cannot work in today's applications or today's, I don't know, today's industries or, or just we can't find a way to relate it to today's world, then we have 5% remaining that can be applied to today. And this is a technology that somehow the creators of this technology, which they began, it was a father and son, if I recall correctly, and this technology was created in the garage or a basement. I don't know if it was a ba basement or a garage. I think it was a basement. And um, they just wanted to see how many different ways, I'm using my own words, please confirm this for yourself, can they charge a battery? Maybe they just wanted to see, can they charge a battery faster? I'm not sure that was the original goal. The original goal might have just been, can we charge a battery in a different way? So those are my words. Please confirm this for yourself. So I'm going to read this to you, 
and I hope you can hear this. If the sound isn't good, I'll remake the video. So I'm hoping you can hear me with the motor running in the background. I'm actually charging batteries right now. <laughs> I'm charging batteries with the traditional charger, which is just the standard, const I think it's called constant current, constant voltage. I'm charging it with uh, a ballast, which is 600 volts AC being converted to um, DC with a fast recovery, I think they're called Schottky diodes. I think they're 1000 or 2000 volt diodes. I'm not looking for current in my tests, I'm just doing um, high voltage. <clears throat> and uh, so I'm charging it simultaneously with, with that high voltage from a ballast, which powers uh, compact fluorescent to light tubes. And I'm also charging it with the splitting the positive, loving giving path. Uh, just look into Rick Friedrich YouTube videos on loving giving path. And um, so I'm charging the batteries in three different ways at the same time. That's a new test I'm doing. Anyway, so to share this, which this definitely helped inspire me. And now I don't know if I'm doing anything remotely close to what G Batteries is doing. I'm just enjoying learning about different ways of charging batteries. I'm doing a lot of reading, and I might be doing things very different than what I'm reading. But when I read, I get a lot of ideas about things I want to try. And it may have very little to do with what I'm actually reading. But I will get around to what I'm reading as, as well, so I'll get to that as well. So I just want to thank you all for being here, and I want to say, um, let's go ahead and look at this. So studygbatteries.com, quick charge pulse algorithm. Okay, so this is from the original notes. I'm saying original. There might, there might have been different writing before this, but when I learned about G batteries, and they only have a few videos. I think they have five videos. Let's see. They have one, two, three... One, two, three, four, five. yeah, I think they have five videos on their YouTube channel. Um, yeah, it says right there, five videos, if it's still, if that's still accurate. So it looks like they're not real, really, really, really active on their YouTube channel, but I'm very grateful to G Batteries for what they have shared publicly and for their hard work. So thank you so much, G Batteries. Okay, quote from gbatteries.com. So this is what the site used to say. Okay, and you can look for yourself, and this may still be there. But when I looked last, which was a few months ago, um, I found that it looked a little different, and it looked like they, they might have been involved in making some batteries now. So that's a possibility. But when they made this, it, they weren't changing the battery. What they had was software and temperature sensing uh, uh, sensors and sensors that, te that read the, uh, the batteries in different ways and, um, and adjust the, the energy and the pulses and I don't, I don't even know what to call it. It'll be here in the writing though. It's really interesting. Let me just read this to you. Okay, so I hope you can see this and I hope I'm not shaking the camera too much. Okay, so this is from their website previously which was at least two years ago approximately because this says last updated on October 24th, 2020. But that doesn't mean that was the last time that I uh, put information on this. It, I could have done it much before then. Okay, quotes from gbatteries.com. Intelligent adaptive charging, charge sense, is a proprietary, fully adaptive, self-learning algorithm that generates complex charging pulse profiles based on real-time monitoring and analysis of a battery's internal state. Unique charge profiles are generated based on battery response signatures in real time, which result in a drastic reduction of irreversible chemical reactions. Fast charge, long cycle life, and off-the-shelf batteries at G Batteries. We're not developing new materials or changing battery chemistry. There are two parts to our technology, software and hardware. Nearly all off-the-shelf lithium-ion batteries that are charged with G Batteries adaptive pulse charging algorithm as an alternative to CCCV, and I think that means constant charge, constant voltage, but please confirm for yourself, can be charged faster and without compromising cycle life. Fundamental physics Impedance is a dynamic parameter 
of a battery that changes rapidly with time during charge. Impedance is also affected by battery state of health, charge, and even ambient temperature. With every pulse, charge sense detects and charges the battery during the low impedance phase until a critical point in RT is reached, pausing for a crucial period of time to allow a small amount of depolarization and impedance to drop to prevent irreversible chemistry from occurring. Faster charge often results in a rise in battery temperature, demonstrating possible irreversible internal damage and a potential safety risk. As G batteries charging protocol adapts to operate in lower impedance periods, the result is a lower temperature rise during ultra fast charging. G batteries tested hundreds of battery cells for thousands of hours and displayed improved performance over conventional fast charging methods. Over the last five years, we have demonstrated repeatable results on power and energy cells ranging from 100 milliamp hours to 60 amp hours. Our technology is applicable to any product that has a rechargeable lithium ion battery, from smart watches to electric vehicles. Watch as we charge off the shelf batteries inside of commercial products. Okay, so that's the original notes, and here's their videos here on the side here. We'll just glance at the videos, let's see. Yeah, so here's their videos that I see here. At least these are the ones that I added to the playlist, but you can check their YouTube channel. So I see charging a, it's, I think you pronounce it Xiaomi M365 scooter in under 10 minutes versus five hours. And that is true because I owned that scooter and that is how long it used to take to charge. Charging DG, DJI, I think I'm, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Tilo drone in 10 minutes. Ultra-fast charging of power tool in 11 minutes and CES 2019 G batteries ultra-fast charging demo on pack and then we have G batteries advanced battery charging fast charge long life And what else does it say? Technical explanation. Okay, so there you go Let's go over to G batteries homepage at gbatteries.com Let's see how the site looks now. I know we didn't see the site before. I didn't have a copy of that, but I have the, just those notes that I wrote from their original site. Let's look at what they have now. Okay, so mission. So here we, we see a solar panel in the back. We see wind, wind power in the back here, a charging station, charging an electric vehicle. Okay. So we're talking about charging electric vehicles in like five to 10 minutes, okay? It's already been done many years ago. This technology was proven, developed and proven over 10 years ago. My research indicate that. You can confirm that for yourself. Mission, our mission is to accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles by eliminating the final barrier of charge time and enabling electric vehicles to charge as fast as it takes to fill a tank of gas, right? Sounds pretty good. Our goal is to improve the Earth's climate by reducing greenhouse gas emissions caused by internal combustion engines so that we can deliver the planet to future generations in a better state than it is now. Than it is in now. Okay, let's see what this says. Impact. We're contributing to a healthier planet by helping to replace internal combustion engines with electric vehicles. Climate change is the biggest threat facing the future of humanity. The United Nations recently reported that greenhouse gas emissions have doubled since 1980 and that a primary cause is the burning of fossil fuels from internal combustion engines. And then you can learn more about that if you like. 
highly recommend going to the G Batteries website. Technology. We're pioneering an AI-based technology capable of ultra-fast charging lithium-ion batteries without compromising cycle life, which is typically the issue when a battery is charged fast. We have filed 45 patent applications with 11 patents granted and 28 pending. And if you want to learn more, you can learn more. Here's their videos. Company. G Batteries is an, is an advanced battery tech company that is revolutionizing the way batteries are charged. Our customers are leading automotive and electronics manufacturers. Our investors include Airbus Ventures, Initialized Capital, Plug and Play, SV Angel, Y Combinator, and other private investors. And please uh, forgive my, my mispronunciation if I did not say those correctly. Okay, so let's see. True fast charging. One hour isn't what we call fast. We're pioneering technology that will enable electric vehicles to charge in minutes, not hours. How does that sound? Sound pretty good? See the little wave right here? Look at this. You see that? Look at the wave. There's a wave right there. You can see it changing? It's always changing. Yeah. It's very interesting. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, G batteries. It looks like you can enter your name and email if you would like to. And here's just more information. What should we look at? Should we look at technology? Inside G batteries. Let's look at technology. Let's see what that says. Okay, so it says charging in minutes, not hours. Okay, let's see. Ultra-fast charge of off-the-shelf lithium-ion batteries without compromising cycle life. We can't... Oh, why can't we ultra-fast charge today? The problem is straightforward. The faster a battery is charged, the faster it degrades. Okay, let's see if I can understand this chart well enough to, to explain what I'm seeing. Conventional fast charge cycles. Okay, a cycle is how many times you've charged the battery, if I understand correctly, okay? Now, I don't know if it means draining the battery all the way and then charging it all the way. It might just be if you used any of that battery and then you plug it back in, and charge it back to the full. I don't know if that's considered a cycle. You could look in that for yourself. Please do if you're curious about that. But if all things are equal between these different tests, so let's say we charge, discharge and charge them to the same amount. So if all things are equal, I understand that to mean this is what this speaks to. It speaks to if we discharge and charge to the same amount. Okay, let's see what this says. Capacity, 100%. Let's see what this says. This looks like it's this one here. I have a Band-Aid on my finger here, so excuse me for that. Um, I have Redmond clay on there. I burn my finger a little bit, just a little one. And it, I put Redmond clay, and it'll, it takes the pain away immediately. Uh, Redmond clay, it's also called bentonite clay. You just make it into like a paste, so it looks like toothpaste, kind of. And then you put it on your finger and put a Band-Aid on it. Uh, this is a waterproof Band-Aid. That's what I'm using. Okay, so let me, apologies for the for 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 my talking about my finger. I just wanted to tell you what that was. If you see the mandate on there, okay. Um, capacity. Let's see. So it looks like it's around seventy-five percent between two and three hundred. Conventional fast charging. Oh, so it's saying. I understand this to mean that you're going to get about. Um, so at about two hundred and fifty cycles the capacity instead of being able to charge it to 100 percent only going to be able to charge it to this is conventional fast charging right you only go to charge it to around 75 percent you won't be able to go 100 percent anymore so you're losing capacity you're losing it's called capacity so like if we compare that to a gas engine um, if we call your full tank your full tank of gas 100% capacity, and let's just hypothetically say you can go 100 miles. I know you can go more than that, but just 
hypothetically speaking, as an example, if you can go 100 miles on your tank of gas, then imagine after you put, um, you know, 250 tanks of gas in, your gas tank was getting smaller and smaller, right? So now your gas tank can only go, can only go 75 miles on a, on a full tank of gas, right? It's that, that would be the equivalent. That's a way of, of me explaining it to you that, that I can understand to how to explain. But you can look into this further and find many ways to understand this. So now let's go over to conventional regular charging. Okay, this isn't fast charging. It's just charging like at your house with the 110 outlet, just regular charging, right? So you ch charge it at home or just the slow charging, right? So it would take all night to charge, right? Really long time. So now you're getting 700 cycles, right? That means you can charge it 700 times, if I understand correctly, a cycle is charging, that's what I understand. Now, now that's giving you the same, right? So, you're, so if it's a gas car and you fill it up 700 times, then that means you're getting, instead of 100 miles, right? If we just use our example, I know cars go further than that, I'll take a gas, but it just makes it easy to explain it. Um, you can go 75 miles approximately, because so, it looks like it's between 70 and 80, right? Oh, this one's even, this one's that looks like it's closer to 70%. Let's see. Oops. Oh, what'd I do? Sorry. Uh, apologies for that. And then, um, I forgot this is the touch screen, so it'll respond to my touching it. Okay, so, yeah, you'll be down to 75 miles on your gas car if after 700 uh, tanks of gas or if it's an electric car we can also say that if it's an electric car and let's say it goes 100 miles per range and I know they go further than that now electric cars go much further than 100 miles on, on a full charge but let's just say it went 100 miles if it went 100 miles after 700 normal charges at home like they're very slow charging then you would instead of going 100 miles you'd only be able to go 70 miles right because 70 percent right now let's look at what G batteries fast charging can do. Okay, this is really exciting. I, I, I can't imagine not being excited about this because it just is very interesting to me and I really appreciate learning new things, especially when they're good for the environment and good for us too, meaning they're good for the air, good for future generations, and just good for everyone, I think. So if we look at G batteries fast charging, right? So now we're really to compare this, we have to compare that to the conventional fast charging, which is what we call fast charging now. But look at this. G batteries fast charging doesn't harm the battery as much as slow charging at home, doing very slow charging with the same, and, and look, it's even better. It's, it's better than slow charging, see? Slow charging is at 70%. G batteries fast charging is a little bit above 70%. It looks like it might be between 70 and 80. Okay, it's a little bit above that line. Oops, sorry. Apologies for that. Yeah, see, it's a little bit above that line right there. So, G batteries fast charging. Okay, so what would bring this technology out fast? Okay, what would bring it out? When I talk to everyone, everyone says the same thing. They say, what will bring this out the fastest is the public. Calling whatever electronics you like to use that use batteries whatever car, electric car you like just call that company and say we want this technology that'll bring it out fast it's just demand right demand and then companies make it you know if you're if you're not buying if you're not spending your money because you want something that's not out yet but it's you know it works um people will build what you will spend your money on so um that's the way I understand it, and then just talking to people, that's what people say. They say the public demand is what brings technology out. So you, there's different ways of demanding it. One way is not spending money on things you don't want, and letting companies know that what you want is something that may not be out yet, but is proven, and the, your company that you like may already be working with G batteries, but they might just be uh, developing the technology more, or I don't know what they're doing, but I know that if you're gonna spend your money on this product, companies will, will do anything to, to make money from you. And they'll make they'll bring your product out. That's that's just talking to people and that's what people are telling me. 
So, but you can talk to people yourself, and then you can also just think about what how you, how you feel. Like, does that sound like it resonates with you, or sounds like feels good to you? So, um, let's go ahead and go down and see what else we have here. Oh, so just for clarification, yeah. So after over twelve hundred cycles, right? 1200 cycles of filling up and, and then draining your electric car or your your whatever it is that takes batteries right look at this look at this if you compare it to today's fast charging i mean this is 250 cycles and this is over 1200 cycles it looks like it's around 1250 cycles right because it's it's past the 1200, okay? So that's a significant improvement, and that's today. In fact, it's over 10 years ago. This technology has been proven for a long time. So um, let's, look out, let's look at this. Let's see what this says. Conventional charging CCCV. Some batteries can be, fa can be charged fast, but the faster a battery is charged, the faster it degrades. So I'm reading over here. To avoid irreversible damage, manufacturers often limit the charging rate of batteries. G batteries charging. Nearly all off-the-shelf lithium-ion batteries that are charged with G batteries adaptive pulse charging algorithm as an alternative to CCCV, which I think that, to me, that sounds like constant current, constant voltage. I could be wrong or close, so please confirm that for yourself, can be charged faster and without compromising cycle life. That sounds good to me. There's a video you can watch. Fast charge, long cycle life on off-the-shelf batteries. At G Batteries, we're not developing new materials or changing battery chemistry. There are two parts to our technology, software and hardware. Intelligent Adaptive Charging. Okay, so this looks like it's the notes that might be very similar or it might be the notes that I that I uh, have written on the, um, that I read to you earlier. So please look at this for yourself. And I don't know why I thought uh, G Batteries was making batteries now. Maybe they're not making batteries, but maybe they are. So please confirm for yourself. But the charging technology is there and I would highly recommend being aware of this. Okay, everyone. So for today, that is what I wanted to share with you about G batteries. And basically, too, if you haven't heard of them or you've heard of them but you didn't really know what they were, just to introduce the idea of, of what they have achieved. And um, one company that comes to mind that was also called many names and told they were doing the impossible. We know this is a common theme when people are doing new things. Uh, but it's, uh, at the moment, I'm not remembering the name of the company, but they made something called a any light, a solar cell. And um, I can't remember the name of the company at the moment, but they made a bat, they made a solar cell that can charge just from ambient, li from uh, artificial light. It doesn't have to be sunlight. And there's a, there's a story that goes with that company about how people called them names and said they were doing the impossible and they're scammers and they're scamming people and they're, they should stop embarrassing themselves. And you know what? That company achieved making a cell. Now, the cells are very expensive uh, to buy, but they achieved their goal to create a, a solar cell that can be charged by ambient light. It makes me think of the calculators that would charge if just off of a like indoor lighting. So I don't know if that's a similar technology, but just a really, really small version of it. Okay, everyone. So have a great day. Thank you so much for being here today. And thank you for being interested in, uh, in, in sharing this journey of my both teaching myself what solutions are available in the world today and uh, for sharing your interest as well in learning by being here today with me. Have a great day and look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, bye-bye.